Good day, everyone. Thank you for joining and welcome to this month, Connect with Control M. My name is Sandy Carmeli and I'm a member of the BMC Customer Support Team focusing on Control M for distributed systems. Today, we are going to talk about a new utility, Rehost, which automates the recovery process where it's required to perform updates in the host name of the new configuration. Before diving into the agenda, I would like to introduce today's panelists, Martin and Rafi. I would also like to take the opportunity to remind you that if you have any questions, please feel free to enter them in the Q&A panel. We will address them towards the end of the session. Finally, you can save this presentation by going to File and Save option in your WebEx session. Now, let's take a look at the agenda. Our agenda for today includes a brief introduction in this new utility, the prerequisites needed to use it, an overview of different scenarios where this utility is used. Its usage covers the different flags, parameters for each situation. Of course, a demonstration for Control M Enterprise Manager as well as for Control M Server. Tips and Q&A. In previous versions, before having this utility, our customers experienced some challenges when there was a need of failing the production to the disaster recovery site, when needing to point the control environment to a different database, or when changing the host name of the machine or having a cloud installation. Manual intervention was needed, and it was a tedious procedure. Therefore, we have created the Rehost utility, which automatically assists on all these proceedings. The utility name is Restore Host Config, and is described in the slide. These are the most common use cases for this utility, which, which we are going to detail each one separately in the next slides. Let's describe them in the user section. The Restore Host Config utility is introduced in Fixbook 4 of the Control M Server version 9 and in Fixbook 5 for the Control M Enterprise Manager version 9. As prerequisites, we also need to consider that both environments need to have Control M version 9 installation with the same level of Fixbooks. For database reconfiguration scenarios, the database needs to be the same type. As an example, if we have our production control M server connected to an Oracle DB, we will change its connection over to another Oracle database as well. Let's see the usage. In this slide, we can see where the utility is located in each installation. For the Control M Enterprise Manager, is in the home directory under the subdirectory bin, as well as for Windows and for Unix installations. For the Control M Server, it is located also in the home directory under the subdirectory scripts. These scripts are activating a Perl script, which will take care of all required modifications needed to reconfigure and modify automatically the needed files and database data to be able to achieve the changes needed. As mentioned before, let's describe the different options this utility offers. The DR option is used when it's needed to fail over to a disaster recovery standalone server. In this case, we understand that the DR server has a full installation of Control M with its database that is synchronized with the production one. In case the database are not synchronized using the database utilities, it is possible to back up the production database data and restore it in the DR Control M installation using the Control M utilities. Let's say that our Control M environment is constructed by two different servers, the production and the DR. Both contain an identical Control M installation with its databases. And the most important point is that these two databases are synchronized between each other regularly. Once the production server is down, we can bring up the DR server. But in order to make it identically to the production, this utility will synchronize the configuration files that were stored in the production database, bringing them into the file system of the DR. After this action, the DR server will be ready to be used as production. 
The options rehost and interface name can be mentioned together. Since the first one is used when the host name of the physical machine where control M resides is changed, and the interface name is used for cloud installations when the host name is public and changing randomly. In these cases, the utility rehost will provide an automatic solution as well for updating the host name required without having to go through manual changes taking care of our data integrity. The reconfig DB was one of the most requested options by our customers, since there are many situations where the database server needs to be changed, having the control M pointing to a new database server, and this wasn't an easy task. Introducing this utility, we can use this option when our control M installation needs to point use a different database. For this option, as well as for the DR option, as mentioned before, the databases are synchronized or restored with the data of the previous one. When using this option, the databases need to be the same type, and the control installation is identical to the previous one, making both database schemas identical. The profile name option is used in cases of cluster environments when the control M installation is using the BMC EM profile name environmental variable and the profile name needs to be changed. As in all other cases, the manual intervention wasn't an easy task, and this utility will just update the environments automatically in a fast way, which will reduce our production downtime as well. The option Remove Secondary is used in high availability environments, where it's needed to remove the secondary or inactive high availability installations component data from the Control M database. This means that if the primary server is down and cannot be recovered soon enough, we are going to fail over to the secondary and remove the primary entry automatically and quickly using this option. Later on, will be possible to make the server part of the high availability solution again. The last one, Rehost Control M Server, is valid only for Control M Enterprise Manager, and we will use it when it's needed to rename a Control M Server hostname communication data in the Control M Enterprise Manager database if the Control M Server hostname has changed. Many times, we had to change the Control M server host name for different reasons, and then we had to update manually its new name in the Control M Enterprise Server, eh, sorry, Control M Enterprise Manager site, which also required manual intervention together with long and risky procedures. This option just updates automatically every entry of the old Control M server host name with a new name in just seconds, and we can resume our work. For these demonstrations, we are using Windows machine with MS SQL data centers. The procedure is exactly the same when using any other platforms and databases supported by Control M installations. We also need to mention that our databases are synchronized. As a reminder, this can be done using database utilities such as AlwaysOn for MS SQL, Dataga for Oracle, Replication, etc. In case our databases are not being synchronized using DB utilities, will be possible and have the same result using the Control M utilities, such as Util for Control M Enterprise Manager and BCP for Control M Server to backup and restore the data. In this demonstration, we will show the options ReconfDB for database reconfiguration when the Control M Enterprise Manager needs to point to a different data server name and the DR option when the Control M server needs to fail over to the disaster recovery server. Let's share my screen and start the demonstration, please. So let's start by seeing the utility's usage. We need to get to the path where the utility is located. So we are going to go into the Enterprise Manager to the bin directory, and now if we just write the utility name with the minus help parameter, we can see all the 
possibilities that we discussed in our previous slide. The DR, rehost, profile name, interface name, ReconfDB, rehost CTM, remove secondary. So if we can type also, for example, the ReconfDB option with the help parameter, we will receive all the requirements for this specific option. So let's try some of the options. For the first demo, I will put myself in the place of a customer that their MS SQL server that is connected to the enterprise manager is not longer relevant, and they need to point their control M enterprise manager to a different MS SQL server. My role in this case is to perform the transfer try to shorten as much as possible the downtime needed, and of course, keeping the integrity of my production environment. The most important step is making sure that the new MS SQL has the Control M Enterprise Manager V9 schema and its data is synchronized with the production one. We are going to see in our CCM Configuration Manager that our Enterprise Manager is pointing to the EK server of MS SQL, which is also a local server. So now we go back to the CMD window and we can see, we can go into the um, path where the utility is located in order to run it. Now, first of all, we need to bring down the Enterprise Manager services. In order to shorten the time, because it's a Windows machine, we can kill the processes, so we can do it faster. All the processes starting with EM, we're ending the tasks. Okay, so now our Enterprise Manager is down, so we can go back and run the Reconf DB option. So from here, you, we can put yes, our CCM is down. Okay, we need the DBO password. Then the number four, we write the name of the MS SQL server that we want to point to, enter. And now we see the utility is working. Now the utility finishes its work. We can go up and bring the Control M Enterprise Manager services. It is worth to mention that starting from version 9, we have only one service in the Enterprise Manager. There is the configuration agent that is in charge of bringing up all the Enterprise Manager components. While waiting for the Control M Enterprise Manager process to go up again, we can change the new connection details in our Enterprise Manager database menu by going to the EM database menu. So here we go to reports, we go to database status, the DBO password, and we can see that we have the local server EK, and now our database is the DP. So now we can see if the components are up. We can go to the task manager and check. We're going to log in again. OK, password, login. And now we can go and the CCM, Control Configuration Manager, and see that we have pointed our Enterprise Manager to the new MS SQL. We didn't change the ports of the MS SQL, but it's also possible using this option of the utility. So here we see that our, our MS SQL server is the DP instead of the EK as it was before. So let's go back to our window in the CMD line and see a different situation with our Control M server. In this case, the issue is that our production server is, that is holding our Control M server installation has a disk problem, and we will need to fail over to the DR server. 
At this point, our control and servers are in components are stopped and the database is up running. We can check the services and we can see that the configuration agent of the control and server and the control and server are stopped. The database is up and running. So we can quit from here and we can go to the path in the scripts where the utility for the control and server is located. Our production and DR servers are synchronized as well. The DR server contains all the data reflecting the production database. In situations like this one in the past, we had to copy manually all the configuration files from the production to the DR to have them identically, and that required manual intervention that could cause mistakes and longer downtime on the production. When using the rehost utility, this is done automatically. To make it more understandable, I'm taking the config that from our production server, where we have updated some time ago a parameter of the email. So if we see our config.file of the DR, we see that this parameter is, doesn't exist here. So now we go to the path, we are in the path where the a rehost utility is located, and we are going to run the config.bat with the DR option. Now, as the utility runs, we can see the files that are going to be transferred and inserted in the new control and server environment database, timezone.dat, config.dat, and all the configuration files. So now we can go again into the data path in the control and server, and we can type the config.dat in order to see it. And we are going to see that now we do have the parameter exactly as in the production. For our customers using the high availability feature, this option is vital. The reason is that when failing over to the secondary server in a high availability environment and the primary server is no longer available, the secondary control and server will be active only after performing this action. So let me go back to the slides. These articles contain the explanation and steps needed to be followed when using the DR and the DB options. Also, the release notes of the Control M Enterprise Manager and the Control M Server contain useful information about this utility. Thank you for taking time out of your day to attend. I hope the information provided was useful.